sana sana mental health eh? ni ni fikra za ni fikra eh? kama eh? try to stay positive everybody in this world anapitia kitu everybody is going through this or that what is uh, mental health what does it entail uh, uh, yani ni muhimu tu kujua hii mental health ni, ni, ni nini haswa atatueleza na pia what the different types of mental health ambazo tuna face kwa community Hi guys, welcome to Vibe Zero Talk Show. Talk yetu, show yetu. And Leo, I'm very glad to host one of uh, the people I've been looking forward to host at Vibe Zero Talk Show. And uh, just before I do the introduction, I like to give her the microphone so that she can tell you her name. Okay, thank you very much. I'm so happy to be invited today and to have a talk with the Vibe Zero guys. I'm so happy, happy. I've been looking forward for this day and i'm feeling honored ready to share with you what we have today thank you guys i'm called pauline i'm a psychologist or mental health officer thank you very much sandy sana pauline umoja ni umekuwa ni utafuta sana lakini haupatikani at least leo umepatikana si ndio yeah we have been busy on and off but today i've decided actually to honor the promise which i made before and i'm here to talk with the guys and everyone who is ready to listen to me or to us what we have for you today okay. thank you very much and especially it is a mental health uh, awareness week and we have got a professional who will take us through what is uh, mental health what does it entails uh, uh, yani ni muhimu tu kujua e mental health ni, ni, ni nini haswa atatueleza na pia what the different types of mental health ambazo tuna face kwa community so just to start with uh, Pauline i know uh, we ni wewe ni uko na experience katika hii field ya mental health si ndio? Ndio Kiswahili pia ni ngumu kidogo. Sio lakini tuta mix mix tutumie lugha zote. Au sio? Yeah. Tutumie kizungu sana. Kuna wale wengine wa kizungu kidogo ilikuwa ni ya kupita mtihani. Okay. So in order to reach the, the whole community tutajaribu kutumia Kiswahili na pia kizungu. Au sio? Ni yeah. So tukianzia uh, Pauline uh, maybe utatueleza mental health inamaanisha nini katika Uh, community maybe a simple terms ambazo ambao watu wataelewa mm-hmm. mm. tukiongea juu ya mental health mara mingi mental health mm. inalingana na chenye tunafikiria ama chenye nakuja kwa our minds eh? yes, yes. Uh, since you are going to use both language english and swahili mm. and you know this is the week i just want to appreciate that first this is the week of mental health and is a mental health awareness it only comes once per year mm. sasa Mm-hmm. wiki kama hii kwetu kama wale ambao wana psychology or mm-hmm. maybe psychologists we really appreciate and we honor this week yeah. simply because in our daily life this is what we are doing mm-hmm. we are helping the clients tunasaidiana pale wagonjwa wetu wale ambao wanataka tu mawaidha kulingana na afya kiakili mm-hmm. watu tunasema ya kwamba hakuna mm-hmm. ile afya nzuri kama mtu akili yake haiko sawa sasa kila kitu inaanza na akili zetu na baadaye tunaangalia hii akili yetu na tuambia vipi As Pauline kwa mfano lazima niangalie niko sawa kiakili mm. ndio nitasaidia mwingine na nitajuaje niko sawa kiakili kwa sababu nitakuwa naelewa ni nini mbaya labda nikifanya ama vile nafanya maisha yangu inakuwa mbaya sasa nitaamua pale hapana chenye napitia hii si kitu sawa ndio maana nasema hivi lazima tuangalie akili zetu ziko namna gani so when we talk about mental health yes. Actually we are going back to our emotional part of it mm-hmm. our physical part of it and mm-hmm. everything that is around us it's mm-hmm. a combination of the three mm-hmm. physical or the psychological part of it emotional and all that is around us mm-hmm. so if one is not right then there's a problem with us mm-hmm. somebody might feel i'm okay hiyo ni yaenda wazimu ama vitu kama hizo mm-hmm. sio hivyo chochote inatusumbua kili yenye tuko stable At the end of the day we need to have a solution. So sasa zile tunaangalia solution, is solution ni nini yenye nitapata? Is it the right solution? Is it the wrong solution? And how will I know? That's why we encourage people to talk about their life often. So let me yes. ask you Pauline. Mm-hmm. Uh, mtu anaweza kuwa amevaa vizuri hivi anatembea uh, kwa mtaani tu. Uh, anaweza kuwa na problem ya mental health ama wale wenda wazimu wenye wanabeba mzigo chafu ndio wanakuwa ni wako na hiyo shida ya mental health. Mm-hmm. Asante sana kwa hiyo swali. Mara mingi we normally say don't judge a book by its cover. Mm. I can I can be very smart as Pauline mm. the way I am right now. Yes. 
but whatever I'm going through in life mm. is making me to look even much brighter. Mm. So at the end of the day, you might feel like, oh, Paulina, ko sawa ana tatizo. No. But hapo sasa ndiyo huile mutu, akona tatizo pali. Na iyo tatizo, tusipoftatua, utapata ta mutu wako msafi, yata kwa wiki, sorry, not kwa wiki, kwa siku moja, mutu anaugata maratatu. Anabadilisha nguo maratatu. Kila wakati ndiyo huyo mrembo, msafi, ama huile mze, ama nyumba yake anasafisha kila wakati. Nasema huyu mtu ni msafi, eh, hey, mm. kivipi. Mm. Kumbe ule mtu wakona tatizo pale. Mm. Na hiyo tatizo sipotatuliwa, huyo mtu wakona shida. Kitambu mm. ilipuke ndio uone mtu wako hivi. Hizo vitu zilianza kitambo, lakini wala mbao wako karibu walipuuza. Wanasema ya na kuanga msafi hivo, tangu haingi secondary. Tangu akue class fulani. Tangu wapate kazi. Kumbe iko the opposite. So we should not judge by the appearance of what we are seeing. What we are seeing, exactly. Yes. I think that uh -huh. is well, uh, well put. Mm -hmm. And also another thing I want to ask, uh, maybe Uneza could mention here to just uh, types, uh -huh. not uh -huh. sana. Uh -huh. types of mental health, uh -huh. some are problem is of mental health, some are on a Yes, asante kwa hiyo. Types of mental health, nitasema kwa English zote. Karibu zenye nitakumbuka kwa sahi, mm -hmm. lakini kwa kifupi sana. Mara mingi tuko na what is called depression. Mm. Na kila wakati za depression disorder. Mm. Kila wakati watu wanasema ule ako depressed, ako na mental issue, ako na one, two, three. Mm. Remember, ili mutu tuseme ya kwamba, ako na iyo mental condition. Lazima at least kitu ipite kama two weeks. Mm. The same same tabia, merudia, merudia, merudia. Akikuja kwetu tutangalia kama ni acute, kama ni mild, kama ni chronic. But the same same character the person might be having, mm. lazima ikuwe at least like two weeks mm. onwards. Okay. Uh -huh. So we have got a depression, depression. then tukona anxiety. Mm. Na sasa hii anxiety pia, lazima tuangalia nini nasababisha umuta na kwa anxious. Yes. And then if it is done more than two weeks still, yeah. at the end of the day, this person is going to have the, this one as a disorder. Yes, yes. So I just want to encourage all of us. It's not a matter of seeing somebody one day, two days, ah, meka sirika leo, na nakuanga tu sawa kila siku alafu naanza kumuambia huya kona mental issue. Mm. According to us, the screening two weeks onwards, yes. then we will see kama ni acute, kama ni something. Acute means ni bado ni kidogo, mm. ama ni kitu yenye mekua savia, imekua mingi sana, mm. eh, ama kitu sasa ile ya mild yuko kiasi kidogo. So, daktari ama psychologist Nikisema daktari ni uh, psychiatrist eh? mm -hmm. ama psychologist. Hawa wawili watatusaidia sana kujua huyu mtu ako kwa stage gani. Mm -hmm. Na mara mingi tuna encourage watu. At least tukienda kwa daktari ni ata chambu wapala jue uko na which type of a disorder kwa sababu gani. Kwa sababu the symptoms vary from one to another. Yes. Then tukiangalia ingine tuko na hii kitu tunaitanga post, uh, post uh, traumatic tre, uh, stress disorder. Eh Sasa siko afisa hilo utasaidia. Sasa hii tukisema ni post yeah. mara mingi ni kitu ambaye labda kwa mfano ilitendeka kama labda last year ama some 2 3 months ago and is continue recurring. Labda nilipata hata accident, la, eh, moto ikafanyika mahali, rape. Eh, rape cases vitu kama hizo lakini na keep on reoccurring. That's why we talk about post. Eh? So these ones, if they normally happens, mutu anakuwa na ile changamoto ya kiaki, kiakili. Ndiyo badai, tutaona hii ni disorder fulani kulingana na mental. Mm. Eh, yes. Yote tisa pia tukona wale wa mama wambayo wanajifungua. Mama kijifungua sa zingine ile ya uchungu ya labor pain. Pia inasababisha another mental illness kwa, watu, kwa wengine, si wote. Ne, ya, ndiyo mana tunasema mutu anakuwa na postpartum depression. Sasa kama wala mbuwa nafanyu spalini, wataelewa. Madaktari pale wataelewa kidogo, watajua huyu tunafatu mfanyiki vipi. Kama ni referral, lainda dumiwe, kama ni medication tu immediately pale wakiwa nae wa msaidia huyu mama na some antidepressants. It will depend na vile tumeona ama ule daktari ya meona huyu mgonjo wa pale. Sasa ina ya disorder ziko minga tuwezi maliza sasa hivi. Yes. So, mm -hmm. Thank you very much. At least umetoleza kufuki kwa zili ambazo tunakumbuka pia. Mm -hmm. uh, Yes. 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 Yes.
mara mingi ni ukweli sana mimi pia natoka kijamii kifamilia eh sasa hapo hivyo mara mingi tunakosea kwa sababu gani tuna believe kwa assumptions na nikisema assumption ni yale yenye tumesikia yale ambayo ni desturi yetu yale ambayo ni mila so tunaweka mbele na tuongoza mara mingi ili mtu uh, apate hizi madhara si lazima sio madhara vile but kitambo mtu akue mental disorder si lazima kue pale mwenda wazimu amekuja tu hivyo hivyo hapana kuna zile vile kwanza kwa, me, kwa sorry kwa mwenda wazimu ni ile story ya tunasema kwa kizungu ni schizophrenia ili mtu akue hivyo sometimes nakuja na hormonal imbalances kwa brain yake or chemical imbalances sasa unapata kwamba labda mtu alizaliwa through biological unapata kama mama yake alikuwa mwenda wazimu ama familia yao kuna generation so vitu kama hizi naweza tendeka kwa mtu na baadaye yakue kitu kama hicho yeah kuna wale ambao pia wanapitia changamoto ya kutumia hata drugs na hiyo drugs inaweza sababisha mtu akue na storia mental illness Yes, kuna wale ambao pia sasa zingine unapata ya kwamba mtu amekanyagia jambo. Anapitia makali, machungu pale, vitu e, kama hizo kupoteza kasi. Sasa huyo anashindwa itakuwa vipi? Akili yake inaanza kuchangamuka kidogo kidogo. But yeye mwenyewe anaona ni sawa tu nimekanyagia, aombewe. Eh, unajua tuko na madini, tuko pale na Christianity, tuko pale na Waislamu. Mtu anasema tuende kwa kadhi, tusomewe Korani. Kristani tipi ya pale mtu anasema ya kwamba tumie Biblia. Sasa baadaye faith is, is working for them. Fine, sikatai. Lakini yote tisa usipojua ni nini huyu mtu anapitia. Hapo ndiyo baadaye utakuja kama muda imeyoyoma. Kwa daktari, kutokana na kile ambacho umesema vizuri uh, kutokana na your point. Eh? Uh, now that you say that uh, where, where can they really get help? Wanaweza kwa tusaidizi wapi? Katika jamii. Haya, naam, hiyo ni mzuri sana hiyo swali. Usaidizi tunasema ya kwamba ukitaka usaidizi ile mzuri kabisa nenda hospitali. Tumesema ya kwamba historia ya mental illness ni mental health ya mtu. Sasa hospitali kwa sababu maybe hospitali ina gani? Haya ndio maana nilikuwa naendelea kufafanua zaidi. Mara mingi tunasema ya kwamba ni vizuri kwenda hospitali yoyote ya serikali hiyo ni namba one. Kwa sababu pale utapata huduma. Utapata ya kwamba kuna clinical officer mwenye yako na information about this ujuzi ya mental health utapata kuna hospitali zingine hata ukienda pale unataka psychologia unataka counselor watakurifa kama kwa kwa hiyo facility utaperekwa kwa hiyo daktari ya kuangalili na zingine unapata ya kwamba hospitali kubwa kubwa kama hizi za level 5 kama wale ambao waelewi ni referral hospitals mara mingi referral hospitals zote kwa kila county kuna referral hospital. Lazima pale utapata daktari anaitwa psychiatrist. Hata kudumia utapata psychologist atakudumia pale. Na kufanya kinyume si mzuri sana. Lakini yote tisa wengine pia wanasema ya kwamba wanaweza taenda kwa kadhi, wanaweza enda pale kwa kanisani. Kwa kanisani pia kuna ile spiritual nourishment according to wengine. Ukiishia na pasta wako atakuambia ni sawa tuombe tufanye nini hatukatai. Lakini kumbuka maisha yako ni muhimu kushinda lolote. Enda kwa daktari upate maagizo baadaye ufuate vile amekuelezea. Thank you very much. Thank you very much daktari. I think uh, well elaborated on mental health and uh, maybe my last question to you is that uh, what 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 role should the people in the community play in order to reduce the mental health because just last year we heard that mental health is one of the major issues more than other diseases that is facing our country right now so what is the role okay, okay thank you for that final question uh, i just want to encourage everyone who is watching at us listening to us i just want to tell you some few hints eh? we normally talk about or i normally encourage people to check on few things that which are sounding abnormal to an individual or even to you as a person for example sleeping disorder ile kulala kwa huyo mtu analala kivipi na zingine mtu analala masaa machache ama masaa mingi lakini kaa ukijua nilianza mwanzo si kitu amefanya mara moja na unakimbia hospitali we need to have a record angalia kama ni baada ya one week hii pattern ya huu mtu iko kivipi ya kulala kama umeona kama imezidi then pereka huyu mtu hospitali sasa hiyo ni mfano tu moja sleeping pattern tunasema kwa health uh, maybe health uh, words eh? uh, like insomnia then the other thing we talk about kama mtu labda 
worried or maybe speaking words kama mimi nitajinyonga nitatoa uhai wangu vitu kama you are very strong we don't need to punish these people we don't need to provoke them go and hang yourself eh? after all we will not lose you, you uh, will not lose eh? we have seen several deaths you know people in the community talks around talk of several things that at the end of the day they are not going to help they are going to do more harm eh, more harm to this individual so if you hear such words they are always alarming it's a, a red alert make sure this person get a proper um, support and maybe re by referring the person to the hospital or maybe bringing the person yourself we have got something like maybe somebody as is withdrawing eh, mm. of the normal activities that the person is doing mm. eh? I'm, I'm losing the interest i don't want to do these things anymore so these are also the alerts many a times as parents or maybe as the elder people in the community tunasema huyu hataki hiyo kazi yake kwani atakula nini no there's something happening to this person and this is just an alert to us so we don't need to have actually ignore small warnings because those small warnings when they will be too much at the end of the day we might lose even the person or it will be worsening the situation or we can use even extra money to treat this person so heri to uh, yeah. zibe eh yeah. ile ukuta eh kwenye mebomoka than kujenga the whole ukuta itself that's what i can tell you for today Wow, 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 what a talk, what a show, Vibe Zero talk show. So, uh, naona hata kuna barako, naona kandushi kame kuni hapa kidogo. Nasikia hii ni barako, kiona ametoka hivyo kakuni hapa? Ha? Kuna baraka hiyo. Kwa hivyo hii show yetu na baraka. <laughs> and also people are listening. Uh, so guys, you've heard from Daktari herself. Uh, how you can get help, where you can get help, how you can help even those people who are suffering mental health at your home. Uh, by uh, by talking it out, by visiting hospitals if possible, because in every referral hospital we've got uh, psychiatrists or counsellors who can really take you through uh, what you are undergoing. And also in the community, you are not left uh, behind uh, to have a role in ensuring that we create more awareness about mental health. Uh, mental health siku wenda wazimu peke yake. Naeza kuwa tuko smart TV, lakini tuko na mental health. So, na courses ziko nyingi, kukosa kazi, kupotea, kupoteza mzazi, ama kupoteza one of your loved ones, indio? It's very, it's very, it's, it's, very, it's, very, it's, very, it's very correct and it's very common for us, especially during hard economic times that we are facing right now. People, watu wana pesa. So, sometimes mtu tu uh, atakuwa depressed ama atakuwa na mental health, si kupenda kwake. Hata uh, huu mwenda wazimu wanyo unamuona hapo, Si ati anapenda tu akue tu mwenda wazimu. Angepata hiyo maisha nyambayo unaishe nye unafikiria ye ni mwenda wazimu. Ye pia angependa kukua smart TV. Angependa tu kuhishi hivi. So let us embrace those people are facing this problem. And also encourage them uh, and supporting them and uh, taking them where necessary to see kama daktari. Ama kuona kadhi ama kuona pastors. In order just to ensure that you create awareness about mental health. As we celebrate this mental health week. From Vibe Zero Talk Show, we believe that uh, tukiwa pamoja, tukishika na pamoja, tutashinda pamoja, na tutakuwa na positive community ambayo kila mtu na smile vile daktari na smile hapa, sibio? Na tutaenda pamoja na tutashinda. So from Vibe Zero Talk Show, thank you very much for finding time to come uh, on our show here to share your thoughts. I know this is something that you are just volunteering. And I know you can get money, you can get money, but for us, you've done it freely just to ensure that you have got positive vibes in the community. Maybe your final uh, shout out to those people who are watching. Yes. Uh, the final thing I want to tell you, I really appreciate you, your time, listening to us, listening to me. I just want to encourage you, remember, mental health matters. It starts with you and me. So do the right thing, refer appropriately, don't sit with somebody whom you are querying about the health, make sure you refer the person to the hospital. Thank you very much and have a good afternoon. Thank you very much Pauline uh, for uh, coming to our Vibe Zero talk show and sharing your ideas about mental health. We really appreciate you and may God bless you abundantly. Aungeze unga kwa nyumba yako. So and with your family. And uh, behind the camera, we really appreciate Dixon for...